Hey folks! In this video we're going to attempt to make a mold for casting epoxy resin with hot glue. Normally we make molds out of silicone or alginate or rubber or something like that, but I don't have any of those things lying around, but I always have some hot glue. I'm sure this is not an original idea, but I wonder if I can make a mold to cast some simple parts with that. And I'm going to try to make a copy of this quick release plate that goes on my tripod. I've had this tripod since the early 2000s and it has been absolutely indispensable for any video or photography work that I've done, but it has only one of these quick release plates. And to keep from breaking the flow while I'm filming, I would like to be able to just keep the things that I might use mounted on the plate and then just swap them quickly instead of having to unscrew them and unscrew back. This may sound like it's a minimal amount of effort, but it adds up when you're trying to get work done and film at the same time. And I'm sure you can buy one of these online, but buying things is for people with money and credit cards, and I don't have those things. So let's make one ourselves. The glue will of course want to stick to the part, so I'm gonna give it a dusting of some cornstarch, and hopefully that will work as a release agent and help it not stick. Alright, here we go. Alright, I started with a bead of glue on the base, hopefully to secure it to this tile that I'm using. And now I'm going to start filling in the undercuts. Now I'm gonna build up glue around the whole perimeter to give it some substance and finish making the mold. A few moments later. All right, this has cooled to room temperature, so let's see if I can even get it off the style first. It does seem like it might want to come out. Oh, there it is. It popped just up. It popped right out. Now let's see if we can get it off. It's not glued to the plate, I think. Or is it? I think it might be glued, but there is a trick we can do to get it unglued. Hot glue is supposed to come off with isopropyl alcohol. And it's off. And this mold is perfect. Now that we have a beautiful mold, I'm going to seal the bottom with some tape. And to keep the epoxy from sticking to it, I'm going to coat the whole thing with a good layer of Vaseline. Now let's make some epoxy. I put a couple of drops of a black dye to give the epoxy a little bit of color. Three days later. All right, let's see if it comes out of the mold. And looks promising. And there it is. This came out beautiful, it barely needs any finishing work, just gonna remove all the flashing from the edges here, and then I can mount the hardware that holds the camera or whatever I'm gonna put it on. And I'm going to work it wet, because I normally don't like dust to begin with, but I particularly don't like epoxy dust in the air. It seems that no matter what we do, hand sanding is inevitable. Now to make this into a proper thing that can hold a camera or a microphone or whatever I want to mount on it, it needs to have a little screw here, and I'm going to cannibalize the pieces from this smaller plate that I have that uh, doesn't really fit any tripods. Thank you. 
Now look at that. Now just one finishing touch left. So if you ever wondered if you can make a mold with hot glue to cast some epoxy resin, in this case the answer is yes, it worked quite well, and I look forward to using this technique on some future projects. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.